Like, I can't even put into words. Spencer, off camera, reassured all the well-wishers out there. I'm okay, and I appreciate the prayers. Wow, just an incredible story. Spencer, by the way, works for a company just across the border in Canada that was reportedly replacing cables on that bridge, but it's still unclear exactly how he fell. State officials are investigating. And plenty of people are speculating about what has washed up on a beach in Western Australia. Take a look for yourself, whatever it is. It's made of metal. It's more than six feet tall. It came ashore about 150 miles north of the city of Perth. We'll update the story as investigators get to work. What do you it's think? more than six feet tall? It looks like a giant like, rice cooker or well, air it's fryer. It's hard to tell how big it is it's in the video. Tall, you need right. a person or something standing next to it. Well, I have no idea what it is. Coming up, that's wild. The cougar stuck near a beach, forcing the beach to close. But first, the new 71-year-old Bachelor. You're watching World News Now. This is where the newsmakers come first in the morning to be heard. America's number one morning show. How would your mom feel about your relationship with your brother now? I can't imagine what it feels like to go from $20 billion to $100,000. Yeah. Are you worried about going to jail? You write that you had low-grade depression. Mm -hmm. How'd you get out of that? Wherever the story, ABC's Good Morning America is right there. Plastic surgery is so much about risk and reward. Women are getting risky procedures, turning to extreme measures to get results. My tummy tuck procedure in Mexico, I spent about 5000 Here, it would have been about 18000 Cheap doesn't always mean safe. Better to pay the three extra thousand or four and be safe than go over there and then something bad happens. My biggest fear is death. Is this something that could happen in the U.S.? Absolutely. This is Impact by Nightline, now streaming on Hulu. So much happening these days, it's hard to keep up. Things change hour by hour, minute by minute. The historic weather that's now unfolding. The worries on Wall Street. We're bringing you the right now. The nationwide teacher shortage. The right now look at the day ahead. An alert this morning for dog owners and the key takeaways from the biggest stories. World News Now and America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Today does feel a little different. Early mornings on ABC News Live. It was the ideal marriage. Little did I know I was married to a man who had done something so horrible that it would devastate our lives forever. Teacher of the Year is now charged with sex crimes. Only on Hulu. He was living a double life. The shocking story behind a number one true crime podcast. Prostitutes, escorts. He even cheated on me the week of our wedding. Betrayal, the perfect husband. He had a lot of fantasies. Now streaming only on Hulu. Central on ABC. You're watching America's number one streaming news, ABC News Live. Breaking news, exclusives, live reporting across the globe. Keep streaming with ABC News Live. Reporting for the earthquake in Turkey, I'm David Muir. Wherever the story, we'll take you there. You're streaming ABC News Live. We are so excited this morning. We are getting our first look at The Golden Bachelor. And unlike the show's usual drama and antics, this one is for the grown-ups. Here's ABC's Kelly Carter. Golden Age rises for the Bachelor franchise. <laughs> the newest Bachelor revealed. I'm Gary. I'm 71 years young. I'm from Indiana, and I'm going to be the first Golden Bachelor because it's never too late to fall in love again. How does that feel? It feels amazing, and it's still sinking in. You essentially are going to be the representation for what it looks like to date in your 70s. I think my thoughts always go to the way I've done things. Don't give up. There's always possibilities. Gary Turner married his high school sweetheart, Tony, together for 43 years, having two daughters. But then, in 2017, just six weeks after she retired, his wife became sick and passed away. You know, she got robbed. Every day that goes by, that's the thought that I have. What do you think she would make of all of this? I have her picture on a dresser in my closet. Every morning I give her the nod. So what do you think about this? For a while, it was like, um, I was having a hard time figuring out if she would be okay. But we always told each other, when one of us goes, we want the other one to be happy. She's up there rooting. She's saying, yeah, Gary, do this. Gary is ready to find love again. He says his daughters texted him to sign up for the show, and he felt like there was nothing to lose. Gary, Jesse Palmer, it's good to Zoom meet you. Yeah, this is awesome. There's this really important question that I've been dying to ask you. Gary, would you be the first ever Golden Bachelor? Well, hell yes, I would. <laughs> what were your daughter's reactions when you told them they picked me? They start screaming and everybody gathered around. One of those 25 ladies will be super lucky, Jesse Palmer. Like, yes, I scored. I'd love it if I found a partner who was high energy, someone that maybe plays pickleball, someone that maybe plays golf. As Gary sets off on the adventure of a lifetime, he's hopeful a new love will be by his side. So we might see a wedding special in the near future then. I wouldn't discount it. <laughs> Kelly Carter, ABC News, Los Angeles. Oh, I can't wait. I hope Gary finds love. Me too. And I also can't wait for the spinoff Bachelor in Paradise of this. I don't know if that's coming. I hope it is. <laughs> With so much at stake in our world right now, we wanted to thank you for your trust and for making ABC News America's number one news. And thank you for making ABC News Live America's number one streaming news. This is ABC News Live. The Russian families here in Poland. At refugee centers. In Putin's Russia. On the ground in Ukraine. Close to the front line. From the capital. Destructive. Cat 4 store. Along I-5. Often is in the bullseye. Let's go. ABC News Live. America's number one streaming news. Anytime, anywhere. Streaming 24-7. Straight to you for free. Thank you for making ABC News Live America's number one streaming news.
Plastic surgery is so much about risk and reward. Women are getting risky procedures, turning to extreme measures to get results. My tummy tuck procedure in Mexico, I spent about 5000 Here, it would have been about 18000 Cheap doesn't always mean safe. It's better to pay the three extra thousand or four and be safe than go over there and then something bad happens. I'm gonna make a serious death. Is this something that could happen in the U.S.? Absolutely. This is Impact by Nightline, now streaming on Hulu. With so much happening these days, it's hard to keep up. Things change hour by hour, minute by minute. The historic weather that's now unfolding. The worries on Wall Street. We're bringing you the right now. The nationwide teacher shortage. The right now look at the day ahead. An alert this morning for dog owners and the key takeaways from the biggest stories. World News Now and America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Today does feel a little different. Early mornings on ABC News Live. This is where the newsmakers come first in the morning to be heard. America's number one morning show. How would your mom feel about your relationship with your brother now? I can't imagine what it feels like to go from $20 billion to $100,000. Yeah. Are you worried about going to jail? You write that you had low-grade depression. Mm -hmm. How'd you get out of that? Wherever the story, ABC's Good Morning America is right there. With so much at stake, so much on the line, more Americans turn here than any other newscast. ABC News, World News Tonight with David Muir, America's number one most-watched newscast across all of television. All right, here we go. You ready? Let's do it. Yes, it's the show America wants and America needs right now. This is What Would You Do? Let's go. How are you? I love you. Yes. So what will you be watching Saturdays on ABC News Live? What would you do? Hey, I guess I just found out. <laughs> the What Would You Do Marathon, 2 to 6 Eastern, every Saturday on ABC News Live. My favorite show. We're back with That's Wild, starting with the scare on the beach. And this time, it wasn't a shark or even a bear. It happened at Cannon Beach on the Oregon coast. A cougar was spotted on the famed 23-story haystack rock, forcing the closure of that beach. Okay, so let's show you an even better close-up. There it is. Ooh, wildlife officials believe that big cat came down the rock at low tide to hunt birds. But now they believe that cougar has left the area probably not forever, though. There's a lot of good food, a lot of good hunting there. That's the thing about Haystack Rock. The tides change often. I'm surprised somebody was able to even spot the cougar there. I know. It's, you know Would you rather come face to face with there. a bear, a cougar, or a shark? Probably a bear, I think. I think so, too. Bears actually. feel like the easiest to mm -hmm. scare off. The yeah. others, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Um, we're it's done. over. <laughs> All right, next, how about this? Why don't you add this angry otter to the list? Because that otter is at it again. Yes. Remember, we told you about this otter. It's believed to be the same one that has been terrorizing swimmers and surfers in Santa Cruz, aggressively approaching people in the water and even biting their surfboards. The animal has had at least four encounters this summer with surfers, but this latest video suggests she really, really just wants to ride on a surfboard. Okay, so U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials say euthanizing the animal is not being considered as this female southern sea otter is an endangered species. Even if she wasn't endangered, why would they euthanize her? Uh, That's her home. Yeah, if it was aggressive, I don't know. If conservationists, I usually trust their judgment. If they, they, but, you know, they're saying no euthanization here. In the meantime, until the animal is caught and rehomed, it'll be otter chaos. Maybe just go surfers. surf somewhere else. Next to something a little more tame in the water across the pond. These 11 penguin chicks were given their first swimming lessons at the London Zoo. Penguin chicks are not able to swim right away as they're fuzzy down from birth basically slows, slows them down. Uh, you know, they gotta shed some of those waterproof feathers for swimming. Yeah, they then grow the waterproof, I think. The video shows each chick taking its time. They needed to go at their own pace like all kids do, but you can see, look at them playing around. They're clearly having a blast. Yeah, just like little kids, you throw them in the water and they figure it out, yeah? And finally, to scratching season back here at home. Oh, look at this. This mama bear and her three cubs were caught on camera, yes, picking out the perfect trees, enjoying a good scratch in Maine. Mm, it does look like it feels pretty good. They're more likely uh, just leaving an itch. This time of year is when bears like to rub against trees and telephone poles to mark their territory and to map out their travels. With so much at stake, so much on the line, more Americans turn here than any other newscast. ABC News, World News Tonight with David Muir, America's number one most watched newscast across all of television. This summer, GMA's popping up all across the country, spraying sunshine and summertime fun in the morning. It's GMA's Rise and Shine Summer Tour. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. So, could we be coming to your hometown? Friday night, the dating game killer at 9 8 Central on ABC. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lindsay Davis. We begin tonight here in Buffalo, London, in Alaska. Uvalde, Kentucky, and Poland, Ukrainian refugees here in Warsaw. Did you ever have a conversation about an abortion? Is she lying? Do you have a political aspirations? Absolutely. You ready for this? Oh. You're going to deliver a show that will be remembered forever. Ooh, the fresh on me. You are just a tough, bad. <laughs> America's number one news source comes the all-new ABC News app. Breaking news, incredible video, faster, smarter, and it can customize to you and your interests. If you love being in the know, you're going to love this. Experience what all the buzz is about. Experience the all-new ABC News app. Download it now. Reporting from Santa Fe, New Mexico, I'm Lindsay Davis. Wherever the story is, we'll take you there. You're streaming ABC News Live.
This morning on World News Now, Phoenix is set to break a half-century heat record today. Plus, more insurance companies pulling out of states due to extreme weather. Also, the record heat in Europe and the firefighters covered in fire retardant. Happening today, the Trump legal team in court. Will the judge set a trial date, plus where the former president was just handed a legal loss? Congress is about to take a closer look at UFOs. And meet the chocolate lab named Tucker, who's being honored today with a big reward. In the skinny, what Sofia Vergara did on the same day her divorce was announced. Plus, getting ready for Barbenheimer. And is this one of the best wax figures ever? It's Tuesday, July 18th. From ABC News, this is World News Now. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. I feel like with wax figures, it's either spot on or it's, you know, <laughs> it goes viral for another reason. Yes, we're going to show you some of the best and worst. Harry Styles, though, I thought that was him for a second. That's how you know you're fooled when you think it's a real it person. It looks maybe better than he does, which is pretty remarkable. Maybe the wax technology has improved over the years. Maybe, the I feel like some better. of them are very recent, though, that were bad. Yeah. So I don't know. You need to get a wax statue. Maybe they just have days. certain artists that are really, really, really good at it and certain ones that are. You know, at this point, I would just take like a Play-Doh, <laughs> not even a statue, just a nice little Play-Doh of us here at the desk. We'll show you Harry Styles in more detail there coming up. But we want to begin with the nation's extreme weather and its effect on the economic well-being of millions of people. Damaging natural disasters from floods to hurricanes to wildfires are increasing in number and major insurance companies have taken notice. This morning, experts are warning of an insurance crisis unfolding in multiple states due to extreme weather that's becoming more damaging and deadly. Insurance companies are realizing that climate change is directly affecting their bottom line. In Pennsylvania, nearly five inches of rain fell in just 90 minutes Saturday, killing at least five people in Bucks County. A woman visiting from South Carolina was killed after her family's vehicle was overtaken by water. Her two young children still missing overnight. This new video of a flooded road shows the conditions at the time. Meanwhile, historic heat has tightened its grip across the west and south. Today, Phoenix is expected to see a record 19th consecutive day of temperatures topping 110. And off South Florida, even the water is in the mid-90s, threatening the coral and setting the stage for more powerful hurricanes fueled by warmer ocean temperatures. Now, more insurance companies are pulling out of states that are deemed a high climate risk. AAA and Farmers Insurance are the latest companies to pull out of Florida. And State Farm and Allstate have stopped accepting new home insurance policies in California due to wildfires. We think of Florida, Arizona, Louisiana as being popular retirement destinations, and those destinations just got a bit costlier to move to because of rising insurance costs. As natural disasters get more expensive, experts say insurance premiums will increase. And they say home buyers should take signals from the insurance companies. Private insurers have a lot of money at stake, and so households need to take some signal from the choices that these private insurers are making and recognize that it's now going to be more expensive to live in risky areas. 20 states are also under air quality alerts today from the plains into the northeast due to that wildfire smoke coming in from Canada. Most of that smoke is expected to move toward the east coast later today. It's not just here, it's hot in Europe too. One expert says the high pressure over southern Europe that's creating a severe heat wave is like a giant pizza oven. Areas of Greece, Spain, and Italy have been broiling in triple digit heat for days during the height of tourist season too. The continent's 118 degree all time record could be threatened before relief comes after tomorrow. Meanwhile, firefighters in Spain's Canary Islands got doused in fire retardant as they battled a wildfire. Several large fires are also burning near Athens. Vladimir Putin is calling the explosion on a key bridge a terrorist attack. He is now threatening retaliation after the blast robbed his troops of a crucial supply route. ABC's James Longman has more. Vladimir Putin vowing to respond after the latest attack on a vital bridge that connects Russian-occupied Crimea to the Russian mainland. Videos circulating online show the immediate aftermath. The Kremlin claims Ukraine used underwater drones to strike the Kerch Bridge. The claims are unverified, but the attack shut down traffic on this crucial supply route for Russian forces. Satellite images show a portion of it knocked out. Russian officials say a couple driving on the bridge was killed and yeah. their daughter seriously injured in the blast. The 12-mile Kerch Bridge is Europe's longest and has been attacked last October in a massive truck explosion. It took months to repair, <laughs> and Putin made a point of driving across it after it was rebuilt. The strike coming just hours before Russia said it was suspended the deal that allows Ukraine to export millions of tons of grain through the Black Sea. Russia claims international restrictions have hampered its own exports of food and fertilizer, and that it might consider resuming the safe passage agreement only when its demands are met. Experts say if Ukrainian grain shipments are interrupted, it could lead to famine in some countries and rising food prices around the world. This is a deeply regrettable and, as I said, a dangerous decision that we urge Mr. Putin to reverse. The Kremlin insists there's no connection between the suspension of the grain deal and the bridge attack. Repairs to it will take months. And the last time this bridge was attacked, Putin launched a week-long aerial bombardment of Ukraine's energy infrastructure. James Longman, ABC News, in Dnipro, Ukraine. James, thank you. A pretrial hearing is set for today in the case against former President Trump over his alleged mishandling of classified documents. Trump's attorneys and special counsel Jack Smith are expected to go before a Trump-appointed judge in South Florida to discuss procedures for handling classified information and a potential trial date. Meanwhile, the Georgia Supreme Court unanimously rejected Trump's bid to block a district attorney's investigation into alleged election interference. And the Massachusetts Air National Guardsman accused of posting classified military secrets online is demanding to be treated like former President Trump. Jack Teixeira has been held without bail since April. His attorneys say he should be released on his own recognizance, like Trump, since they are both charged under the Espionage Act. Like we always say, the truth is out there, and the House is about to take a closer look at UFOs. I hear he is set for next week. A former intelligence official has made unconfirmed claims that the military found a crashed alien spacecraft. 
The Pentagon, though, says it has not verified any extraterrestrial contact in hundreds of cases dating back decades. Like the X-Files, life imitating art, imitating life. And breaking news overnight, we say breaking because it does begin with the letter B. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we should say that once again, there was no jackpot winner in last night's Powerball lottery drawing. It was worth at least $922 million. Which brings us back to the letter B because tomorrow night's drawing is going to be for at least $1 billion, billion with a B. The lump sum cash option, though, will be nearly $517 million before taxes. Is this really bad news that no one won? Yeah. It means everyone's still in the running. Yeah, tomorrow's jackpot, third largest in Powerball U.S. history, the seventh largest in U.S. lottery history. You know, um, I haven't played so far, so now I think now that it's at a billion, I'm ready. Now that the odds are even worse, <laughs> exactly. time to play. Coming up, the dog to be honored later today with a check. Plus the new settlement in another deadly case connected to convicted killer Alec Murdoch. And later in the skinny white, Ariana Grande is saying thank you next to her husband of barely two years. You're watching World News Now. Whenever news breaks, the crush of families here in Poland, here in Kentucky, no match for the tornado from Monterey Park, California, on the ground in Ukraine. Reporting from Uvalde, Texas, NBC News Live is right there everywhere. From the scene of that deadly missile strike in Dnipro, Ukraine, reporting from the earthquake in Turkey. From Charleston, South Carolina, on the 2024 campaign trail. From Kathmandu, Nepal. From Truckee, California, covering record snowfall. Traveling with the president in Mexico City. Wherever the story. Here at this airport in Tampa, it's already shut down. Reporting with the nurses on the picket line. Building from Jerusalem. Here at 10 Downing Street in London. Streaming live to you. Wherever the story is. Wherever the story is. Wherever the story is. We're going to take you there. You're streaming ABC News Live. ABC News Live. You're streaming ABC News Live. ABC News Live. Streaming free everywhere. America's number one streaming news. The Dating Game Killer at 9 8 Central on ABC. Get ready, America. Every Friday. The hottest trends, styled, and must-have. What's the right stuff to buy right now? I really love that. It's time to buy the right stuff. Yes. And save big time, too. The right stuff. Fridays on GMA. You're going to love it. With so much at stake, so much on the line, more Americans turn here than any other newscast. ABC News, World News Tonight with David Muir. America's number one most-watched newscast across all of television. All right, here we go. You ready? Let's do it. Yes, it's the show America wants and America needs right now. This is What Would You Do? Let's go. How are you? <laughs> yes. So what will you be watching Saturdays on ABC News Live? What would you do? I guess I just found out. <laughs> the What Would You Do Marathon, 2 to 6 Eastern, every Saturday on ABC News Live. My favorite show. With so much at stake in our world right now, we want to thank you for your trust and for making ABC News America's number one news. And thank you for making ABC News Live America's number one streaming news. Back now with Coast Guard crew members unloading an estimated $158 million worth of drugs in San Diego. Specifically, the crews brought ashore nearly 12,000 pounds of cocaine, 5,500 pounds of marijuana as well. The drugs were seized from smugglers in the Pacific by three Coast Guard cutter crews between May and this month. There has been a settlement in another deadly case connected to convicted killer Alec Murdoch. He is serving a life sentence for murdering his wife and younger son. That son had been involved in a 2019 boat crash, which left a 19-year-old woman dead. Her family settled the case this week for $15 million. A civil trial had been scheduled for next month. An investigation is underway after a 10-year-old boy was thrown from a carnival ride in Urban Chicago. Officials say the child was not was not belted in properly on the Moby Dick attraction in Antioch, Illinois on Sunday, and he's in critical condition. It's the latest safety-related issue on a ride this summer, including one in North Carolina where a ride was shut down due to structural concerns. No one there, though, was hurt. And now to a rescue in North Dakota, or North Duck Dakota, as local firefighters called it that day. Look at this is why. Responders in West Fargo saved ducklings from a storm drain. Look at them go. They're so cute. All of them are okay, and the birds were then reunited with their flock. Look at the mama. A couple of lucky ducks there. <laughs> when we come back, the high-profile celebrity splits. Yeah, mm. plural. Not just one, more than one. How Harry Styles will soon be able to be in eight places at once. How is this possible? Only Harry Styles can do it. Skinny is next. Plastic surgery is so much about risk and reward. Women are getting risky procedures, turning to extreme measures to get results. My tummy tuck procedure in Mexico, I spent about 5,000 a year. It would have been about 18,000. Cheap doesn't always mean safe. Better to pay the three extra thousand or four and be safe than go over there and then something bad happens. My biggest fear is death. Is this something that could happen in the U.S.? Absolutely. This is Impact by Nightline, now streaming on Hulu.